Good morning. It is Thursday morning, the 23rd of December, and we've got a little short reading this morning for our um, Advent reading. It's again from Matthew chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 16 to 18. So let's hear what they say. This follows on from uh, the wise men going home to their, their own country a different route. Let's pick it up with verse 16. Herod was furious when he realised that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the wise men report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. Amen. Herod didn't like the fact that the wise men didn't come back to him again. He was counting on them telling him, yes, we have found the one that's promised to be the king of the Jews. And this is where you will find him. Because as you can see from the reading, it was Herod's plan to try and get rid of Jesus. So he takes a guess. Based on whenever the star appeared, he decides to kill all the, the, the male children, all the boy babies. Um, who were born from that time until the time whenever they went to see him in the palace. He'd forgotten that God led a plan a long time ago for that star to appear, for that star to guide those wise men, and that you know it wasn't that two-year period that he needed to cover because God's planning was, was in, in the making all that time. Think about when that star would have been created to be able to be there. Um, just think of how, how long ago then God actually knew what was going to happen. And God knew how he was going to bring Jesus to earth and how he was going to guide those wise men there. Just think about that. And then think about how that quote about a cry was heard in Rama, Weeping in great mourning, Rachel weeps for her children. That's a quote taken from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 15. Again, the Old Testament um, prophesying about what was going to happen in the future, about this great injustice that would be done to God's people as Herod kills all the male babies. Again, God knew that that would happen. That's why it's in the Old Testament. That's why Jeremiah was given those words to write. We forget that God always had the plan. It was never made up on the hoof. It was never um, a case of panic. And, oh, how, how am I going to solve this situation now? God always had the plan. God knew what we would do. God knew that Adam and Eve would sin. He knew that we would turn our back on him. He knew that sin would come into this world. So he always had the plan to restore our relationship with him. We forget that sometimes, don't we? We forget just how perfect God is, just how knowledgeable he is. Well, it's hard for us to understand. It's, it's so far beyond our intelligence. But that's the God who's there for us, who loves us at every twist and turn in the road, who always, no matter what we do, is willing to forgive us. His arms are always open to us. It doesn't matter how bad we might think we are. God loves us. God will welcome us with open arms if we come to him, if we realise that we need him, and if we seek or ask for his forgiveness. God just wants that relationship with us. And whenever we let him in, he changes us. He transforms us. He moulds us. The Bible talks about how we are clay in the potter's hand. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to mould us and shape us into something which is for him, something which is useful, something which he will use. And as you look at a potter, as, a, as then something comes off a potter's wheel, no matter how alike things might seem at a glance, when you look at them carefully, everyone is different. Every jug which is crafted is different. Every plate is different. Every vessel is made slightly different. It's unique, just like us. 
and then God will use us in a unique way. We just need to, to let him do that. Yes, this part of the, the, the story is, is hard. This part of the Christmas story is, is so difficult. When you think about the little babies, the little boys who lost their lives because of an evil ruler called Herod. But it was all part of God's pointing towards who he was. For the people to realise that he always had that plan. Just about trusting him. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your amazing and incredible love. A love which welcomes us always. A love which brought Jesus to earth. Lord, just help us to understand that love. Just to, to, a little bit to be able to, to take it in. And to let it transform us. Father, each day, just please transform us and mould us into the people you want us to be. For it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. See you again tomorrow morning. Take care. God bless.